has delivered us from the power of darkness. And conveyed us into the kingdom of the sons of his love. In whom we have redemption. In whom we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sin. Today briefly I want to talk about the power of the blood of Jesus and what the blood does. Many Christians were don't have an understanding on what the cross did, what the shed blood on that cross did, what the name of Jesus does, and because of that lack of understanding, sometimes we live a life that is not victorious. When Jesus hung on that cross and said it is finished, he meant every detail that he meant on that cross. It is our responsibility as Christians kama wa Christo, to understand what is it that was finished. Kuelewa, ni nini ili, ili isha. Because the blood of Jesus Kwa sababu damu ya Yesu, is a very critical component in the life of a believer. Ni kitu muhimu sana katika maisha ya muamini. That is why whenever we share the Lord's table, Hiyo ni omana tunapo shiriki meza ya buwana. We break the bread for fellowship. Tunaweza kumega uh, mwili kwa jili ya ushirika. And we also receive the cup. Na pia tunapokea kikombe. As a symbol of his shed blood. Kama ishara ya damu ilio mwagwa. That should guarantee our victory in our life. The blood of Jesus guarantees several things. Number one is redemption. What does redemption mean? It means to buy back. Buy back. That which was already lost was purchased by the blood. In our lostness, there was the covenant of the blood that guaranteed our redemption. Isn't it a wonder? that many covenants that are made the medium is by blood and eventually that blood becomes like the bondage and he took the blood of Jesus to buy us back from death to sin when we were lost, wakati tulipokuwa tumepotea, he purchased our lives ye maisha yetu through his blood. Kupitia damu yake. That is why we have redemption. Hiyo ndio maana tunayo ukombozi. He says in whom we have redemption. Anasema katika yeye tuliye na ukombozi through his blood. Kupitia damu yake. The forgiveness of sin. Msamaha wa dhambi. For you to receive this benefit. Ili uweze kuzipokea faida hizi. You must be in Christ. Ni lazima you must accept him as Savior and Lord. Ephesians 1 7. It says this. Almost the same line with the Colossians. In him. In him. We have redemption. redemption. Through his blood. And it says a According, uh, uh, I mean, the forgiveness of sin. According to the riches of His grace. Redemption is through the blood. 
ukombozi ni kupitia damu and for us to be seated here today na ili tuweze kuwa tumeketi hapa leo is because we acknowledge ni kwa sababu tunatambua we were once lost ya kwamba tulikuwa tumepotea we were once dead tulikuwa tumekufa but he has made us alive lakini ametufanya kuwa hai by buying us back kwa kutununua na kuturejesha says this in verse chapter 2 verse 8 anasema katika mstari wa pili mlango wa pili mstari wa 8 of Ephesians wa, wa Efeso for by grace kwa ma, kwa ajili ya neema you have been saved mmeokolewa through faith kwa njia ya imani and not of yourselves ambayo hiyo haikutokana na nafsi zenu it is the gift of god ni kipawa cha Mungu not of works wala si kwa matendo lest anyone should boast mtu awaye yote asije akajisifu because after that redemption maana baada ya huo ukombozi now he says we are his workmanship anasema sisi ni kazi ya mikono yake can you tell your neighbor i'm still being made mwambie jirani bado nina your neighbor i am still under construction mwambie jirani bado ninaumbwa there's another one behind you can you tell them i'm under construction kuna mwingine nyuma yako mwambie bado ninaumbwa because god is still working on us kwa sababu mungu angalia anafanya kazi ndani yetu many of us have written you have written yourself off wengi wetu tumejitupilia mbali because of the mistakes that sometimes we find ourselves in kwa sababu ya makosa ambayo wakati mwingine tunajipata katika because of the transgression and sin that we find ourselves kwa sababu ya kutoka katika matamanio yake na dhambi ambazo tunafanya but through his blood lakini kupitia damu yake we have redemption tunao ukombozi tell your neighbor we have redemption mwambie jirani tunao ukombozi first peter chapter 1 petro wa kwanza uh, mlango wa kwanza tell your neighbor today we are going to look at many scriptures mwambie jirani leo tutaangalia maandiko mengi are, are you talking to your neighbor unazungumza na jirani ama umekuintimidate tell them aunitishi sana hivyo mm-hmm. tell your neighbor neighbor jirani i will talk to you today nitazungumza na wewe leo amen amina chapter 1 i mean uh, ephesians chapter 1 uh, first peter chapter 1 baraka wa kwanza wa petro mlango wa kwanza verse 18 um mstari wa 18 the bible says biblia inasema knowing that nanyi mnafahamu you are not redeemed with corruptible things kwamba, like silver or gold kwamba mlikombolewa si kwa vitu viharibikavyo kama fedha na dha, au dhahabu from your aimless conduct mpate kutoka katika mwenendo wenu usiofaa are you seeing that aimless conduct mwenendo usiofaa received by traditions from your fathers mliopokea kwa tamaduni kwa baba zenu verse 19 but tell your neighbor but mwambie jirani bali with the precious blood of christ kwa damu ya thamana ya christ ya mwana kondoo kama without blemish kama ya mwana kondoo asiye na ila and without spot asiye na wa therefore kwa hiyo because of that blood kwa sababu ya damu hiyo we can now make statements like this tunaweza kutoa matamshi kama haya you are being perfected sisi tunakamilishwa can you tell your neighbor i'm being perfected mwambie jirani tunakamilishwa i am being perfected tunakamilishwa are we together tuko pamoja don't write yourself off as yet wewe usijitupulie mbali god is still working on you mungu angalia na kufanyia kazi because it is with his precious blood kwa sababu ni kwa damu yake ya thamani that he has purchased you ndipo alipokununua and that is why na hiyo ndio sababu once you understand that you are purchased by the precious blood mradi tu umeelewa ya kwamba ulinunuliwa kwa damu ya thamani you can walk in confidence unaweza kutembea kwa ujasiri according to some kulingana na zaburi 172 mstari wa 2 let the redeemed of the lord say so mahali ambapo tunaweza kusema wacha waliokombolewa na bwana waseme hivyo let me see those who have been redeemed by the lord wacha niwaone waliokombolewa na bwana you didn't deserve it let me see you didn't deserve it wewe hukustahili i don't deserve it still you gave yourself for me All the overwhelming ever ending bless my God Let the redeemed of the Lord do what say so tell Wacha your neighbor Tell your neighbor I have been redeemed Tell your neighbor I have been redeemed Mwambie jirani nimekombolewa Can you tell the other neighbor I have been redeemed Mwambie jirani mwingine nimekombolewa If you understand this concept you will never walk like a failure 
Ikiwa unaelewa haya utatembea kama mtu aliyefeli. You will walk like a victim. Utatembea kama mhasiriwa. You will square up your shoulders and know that I have been redeemed. Wewe utainua mabega yako na kusema kwamba najua nimekombolewa. The one who died. Yule aliyekufa is Jesus Christ himself. Yesu Kristo mwenyewe. Therefore. Kwa hivyo you are so important. Wewe ni wa muhimu sana. Let me use Reverend Alam's words. Wacha nitumie maneno ya kasisi Talam. You are very special. Wewe ni special. Sana. You are very special. Wewe ni special sana. Can you tell your neighbor I am special? Mwambie jirani mimi ni special. Yes. Hallelujah. Don't look at yourself as though you're not. You are very special. Usijiangalie kama wewe si special, wewe ni special. Now let the redeemed of the Lord Wacha waliokombolewa na Bwana waseme hivi. Whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Ambao amewakomboa toka katika mikono ya mtesi. The power of the blood. Nguvu zilizo katika damu. Number 2. Ya pili. Cleansing. Kusafishwa. Wendea Yesu kwa kusafiwa na kusha kwa damu ya kondo Jiwe safi kwenye upeo Simeosha kwa damu ya kondo Kuoshwa Tell your neighbor, I know I don't look like it, but believe me, I am cleansed. Are we together? This is a continual walk. This is a process. You see, salvation is instant. Once you say, the, the same way they have been led into the sinas prayer jinsi ambavyo wameongozwa katika maombi ya toba as soon as you make that prayer mradi tu umefanya maombi hayo salvation is instant wokovu ni mara moja but then when it comes to cleansing lakini ikija katika kutakaswa it's called sanctification inaitwa kutakusafiwa it is a process ni kazi inayoendelea that is why saa nyingine unasikia ni kama umeokoka lakini saa nyingine unasikia uchawi inaingia tena unaanza unazambia we kuna kitu nakufanyia we chungana na mimi sana at some point umeokoka saa zingine unasikia kuambia mtu we ndaweka wokovu and then vikukushughulikie we anybody who has ever said that I watu wa Mungu hasa hata umkochacho na mnaga tell your neighbor 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 if it was not the lord was <laughs> kama si bwana aliyekuwa upande wetu because unless kwa sababu usipo we walk with this consciousness usipotembea na katika ufahamu huu kwa kabisa kuna wengine walikuwa wezi mm-hmm. kuna wengine walikuwa wanyang'anyi mm-hmm. waporaji mm-hmm. sasa umekaa hivi unaona simu ya mtu imekaa vibao unasema eh kama si wokovu tulikuwa wachawi kuliko wewe yesu ni bwana tulikuwa waovu kuliko wewe yesu ni bwana amen itende There are people here if God never came through. Kwa sababu you, kuna watu hapa ikiwa Mungu hangekuingilia. Maybe sasa hii watoto wangekuwa 50. <laughs> Seriously kuna wanaume hapa kweli kabisa sasa hii tukianza kusema ati tunaingia inaitwaje ile nini Kenya ile wanataka nao shuleni. Sisi busy. Wacha niulize mwalimu hapa. Play group eh <laughs> Tukisema sasa hivi tuita watoto play group. Wangapi? Eh, Hauja maana fanana na Josh. 
ukiangalia huu msana pia eh na huyu pia anafanana labda sasa hii watoto wako wanatosha class mzima ya playgroup kama si damu <laughs> Lift up your hand and say thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Lift up your hand and say thank you Jesus. Mbona useme asante Yesu. I'm glad we have met when you are born again boy. Amen. Ah bwana asiwe sana. Amen. Because this is now cleansing. Sababu huko ni kutakaswa. Every time sometimes you feel kila wakati unapohisi that you want to do something that is contrary to salvation. Ya kwamba unataka kufanya kitu kilicho kinyume na wokovu. You are being washed by the water of the blood. Wewe unaoshwa kwa da, kwa neno la damu. Amen. Amina. Tell your neighbor neighbor. Mambe jirani. Right now. Sasa hivi. As you see me like this. Unaponiona hivi. This is the work of grace. Hii ni kazi ya neema. Mm. 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 Amen. Amen. First John chapter 1 verse 7. Yohana, bara kwa Yohana wa kwanza 7. If God was not on your side, kiwa Mungu hangalikuwa upande wako. Just to reach wako, out to you and just deliver us. Ili akufikie tu na kukomboe. But if we walk in the light, tukisema ya kwamba tunatembea katika mwanga, he is in the light. Jinsi alivyo katika mwanga, we have fellowship with one another. Tunao ushirikiano sisi kwa sisi. Are you seeing that? Mhm, unaona hiyo? Our only agency for fellowship is walking in the light. Aha, mali petu pa kukutana ni kutembea katika mwanga. The blood of Jesus Christ his son. Na damu yake Yesu mwana wake. What does he do? Inafanya nini? What does he do? Inafanya nini? What does he do? Inafanya nini? Cleanses us from what? Yatusafisha. How many? Hiyo nguo umevaa. How many intend to go and wash it as soon as you remove it today? Ni wangapi wanataka kwenda kuifua tu mara utakapoitoa? Watu wa Mungu, kwani mtavaa hizo nguo zikiwa chafu? See you will wash it. Si utasafisha. Ha? So you will wash it. Si utaosha, utafua. Utatumia Soap, nini? Sabuni, maji. Water. Uh-huh. What else? Dauni. <laughs> you will use the softener. Omo. Yes, that's a softener. Uh-huh. Si ndio? Uh-huh. And there are those that you will add some salt, isn't it? Na kuna wale utaongeza chumvi kwa ngo nyingine. Why are you using all those detergents and chemicals? Kwa nini unatumia sabuni hizo zote na chemical hizo zote? You are cleansing it. Kwa sababu unaisafisha. Now, if if you can use all these detergents to clean our clothes. Ikiwa tunaweza kutumia sabuni hizi na chemical hizi zote kufua nguo zetu. Picture the power of the blood. Hebu angalia nguvu zilizo katika damu. Washing your mind. Inasafisha fikra zako. Washing your body. Inasafisha mwili wako. Washing your sickness. Inasafisha magonjwa. Washing your wickedness. Inasafisha uovu wako. Wizi, unyang'anyi, uongo, all that being washed by the blood the blood na damu do you see how powerful the blood is je unaona jinsi ambavyo damu ina nguvu and that is why whenever we are appropriating the blood hiyo ndio maana tunapotumia damu ya yesu we should be conscious about what we are becoming ni lazima tuweze kutambua tunakuwa nini amen amina look at psalm 51 verse number 7 tuangalie zaburi ya 51 saba this is a psalm you may need to re- be to recite it Okay. Ni zaburi ambayo unahitaji kuikariri. Psalm 51 and verse number 7. Zaburi 51 mstari wa 7. NIV please. NIV. Petafsiri ya NIV. Cleanse me. Are you seeing that word? Unisafishe. What does it say? Cleanse me with his soap and I will be clean. Nami nitakuwa safi. Wash me. Unioshe. And then I will be Nami nitakuwa mweupe kuliko theluji. That is why Isaiah says this. Come. Hiyo ndio maana Isaiah anasema njoni. Let us reason together. Njoni tusemezane. Though you are seen. Hata kama dhambi zenu. Though you are seen. Hata kama dhambi zenu. Is like something terrible. Ni ni kama kitu kibaya zaidi. Is it 118? Mm-hmm. 
Without that understanding, you may not know the magnitude of the offense. If you go before a judge, sometimes they categorize the cases. There are those that they can say, this one is a petty offender. And this one is a capital Offender. The sentence may not be the same. But in the eyes of God, sin is sin. There is no great sin. There is no less sin. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. And that is why the penalty is death for all that I have sinned. But then through the blood damu, he purchased us free. Come now let us reason together says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet by the medium of the blood they shall be white as snow. Though they are red as crimson they shall be like Cool. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. I know you don't meet the qualifications. But through the blood, I'm glad you are here today. Amen. Amen. Number three. Justification. Justification. Justification Kupata haki is when you stand before God ni unaposimama mbele zake Mungu as if you never sinned kama kwamba hukutenda dhambi <laughs> that is justification kufanywa mwenye haki i have been justified mimi nimefanywa mwenye haki that's why sometimes i have a problem hiyo ndio maana wakati mwingine nina shida with people who are very judgmental na watu ambao wanapenda kutoa hukumu sana mimi si kama ule mm -hmm. have you ever had those people Mwasikia watu hao. Mimi si kama, sio kama yule, yule. Now the question is. Swali ni Ni kama wale watu wawili they were arguing both of them have got 20. Huyu ako na 25 na mwingine ako na 24 kwa maths. Mm -hmm. Then they are arguing I mean likushinda liko na 25. Huyu mwingine alishindwa na one mark. Both of them are failures. Wote wame fail. <laughs> But one is bragging, defeat, defeating another one. They are not looking at themselves as failures. Sometimes, when you stand before God, you are justified. Don't look at another person's situation. Bleed the blood for that same, same person. Amen. Amen. When you buy a kilo of meat, do you buy a kilo of salt? You put it. Eh? What do you put? A pinch. Kidogo, sindio? Kidogo, sindio? The same way, what we call great sin, and small sin. They all require the blood. And this blood was finished at the cross. There is no competition among us. Hakuna kushindana kati yetu. Sasa kaya pa sasa ni kuwe mimi nilikuwa naongeza A, B, C, D and they tell you what they have done. Wanakuambia yale wamefanya. That's why parents, when you look at your children, unapo watazama watoto wenu, hata kama wamefanya kitu enye pia wea unashanga sasa uyu. Just don't forget that there is the justifier. Usisahau kwamba kuna nae tufanya kuwa wenye haki. And the one who justifies is the one who died on the cross for their redemption. All you need to do is just plead the blood. Kile unaitaji kufanya ni kuomba tudamu. Plead the blood. Wewe omba tudamu. Because the same blood is still valid today. Kwa sababu damu hiyo ingali inafanya kazi hata leo. Am I communicating something? Justification. Kufanyo wa mwenye haki. Romans chapter 5. Five. Warumi mlango watano. 
therefore being justified by faith we ha. have peace with God tukiwa tumefanywa wenye haki kwa imani tunayo amani na Mungu therefore having been justified by faith basi tukishahesabiwa kuwa wenye haki we have peace with God tunayo imani itokayo na kwa Mungu through our lord jesus christ kupitia njia ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo all the way to verse 9 twende hadi 9 through whom we have access by faith are you seeing that ambaye kwa yeye tumepata kwa njia ya imani because when we are justified kwa sababu tukifanywa wenye haki we also have access pia tunapata njia whom we also have access into his grace ambaye kwa yeye tumepata njia ya imani kuifikia neema hiyo ambayo mnasimama ndani yake that's why paul says i am what i am by the grace of god ndio maana paulo akasema mimi ni yule niliye kwa ajili ya neema ya mungu and rejoice in the hope of glory na kufurahi katika tumaini la utukufu wa mungu and not only that wala si hivyo tu but also illa pia glory in tribulations na mfurahi katika dhiki pia knowing that tribulations mkijua ya kuwa dhiki produces perseverance kazi yake ni kuleta saburi and perseverance na kazi ya saburi character ni uthabiti wa moyo na uthabiti wa moyo hope ni tumaini and hope na tumaini does not disappoint hali tahayarishi because the love of god kwa maana pendo la mungu has been poured out in our hearts nimekwisha kumimino katika mioyo yetu na roho mtakatifu tuliyepewa sisi for when we were still without strength kwa maana hapo tulipokuwa hatuna nguvu in due time wakati ulipotimia christ died kristo alikufa for the ungodly kwa ajili ya waovu for scarcely kwa kuwa si shida for a righteous man mtu kufa kwa ajili ya mtu mwenye haki will one die mmoja atakufa yet lakini perhaps for a good man yawezekana mtu kuthubutu kufa someone would even dare to die kwa ajili ya mtu aliye mwema but god bali mungu tell your neighbor but god mwambie jirani bali mungu tell go the other neighbor but god mwambie jirani bali mungu god demonstrate his own love toward us mungu aonyesha pendo lake yeye mwenyewe kwetu sisi kwa kuwa while we were still sinners tulipokuwa tungali wenye dhambi christ died for us kristo alikufa kwa ajili as yetu as long as there is a sinner mradi kuna mwenye dhambi there is a savior kuna mokozi much more that basi zaidi sana having now been justified by christ tukisha kuhesabiwa kwa haki katika damu yake are you seeing that mm-hmm. i am justified by his blood tumehesabiwa kuwa wenye haki katika damu yake we shall be saved from wrath tutaokolewa na ghadhabu kwa yeye that's why we can now sing there is no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me there is no wall you won't kick down lie you won't tear down coming after me yani hakuna masengenyo inaweza semwa that will carry the day before god you have been justified by faith through his blood wewe umefanywa kwa mwenye haki kwa imani kupitia damu yake wachana nayo you are justified by faith wewe umefanywa kwa mwenye haki kwa imani wale wamekuchomea talking about your children you are justified ambao wamezungumza kuhusu watoto wako umefanywa umehesabiwa mwenye haki kwa imani mwambie jirani nimehesabiwa mwenye haki i am justified nimehesabiwa mwenye haki live like a justified person wewe ishi kama mtu aliyehesabiwa mwenye haki you know it's not good to lose sleep unajua si vizuri ukose usingizi because of what people are saying kwa sababu ya yale watu wanasema because they cannot amend the power of the blood kwa sababu hawawezi kurekebisha nguvu za they cannot amend what the blood says about you hawawezi kurekebisha kile damu inasema kukuhusu the much people can talk about are the things that concern you yale watu wanaweza kuzungumza kukuhusu ni mambo yanayokuhusu but they cannot change the mind of god lakini hawawezi kubadilisha mawazo ya Mungu kukuhusu did you hear what i said they cannot change the mind of god concerning you kubadilisha mawazo ya Mungu kukuhusu. God says that your children will make it. Ikiwa Mungu amesema watoto wako watafaulu. It is done. Ni hivyo tu. If God said, Ikiwa Mungu atasema, You are the head and not the tail. Wewe ni kichwa wala si mkia. Ni hivyo tu. It is done. Ni ni hivyo tu. Do you believe what I'm saying? Je, unaamini ninayosema? Lift up your hand and say I am justified. Mimi nimehesabiwa mwenye haki. Can you tell the other neighbor you are justified? Mwambie jirani umehesabiwa kuwa mwenye haki. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. Can you tell your neighbor neighbor? Mwambie jirani. 
it doesn't help for me and you to compete. Kwangu mimi na wewe kushindana. Tunashindania nini? Tell you ask him wewe ni nini tunashindania? Tunashindania nini? Can you muangalie tu siri amwambie ni nini tunashindania? Tunashindania nini? Kama ni damu ilituokoa mimi na wewe. Kama ni msalaba ndio hiyo ilituokoa. Kama ni kuwekwa haki tumewekwa haki wote. Tunashindania nini? Tunashindania nini? Are we together? Amen. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. I am glad. You are justified. Amen. Amen. Number four. Sanctification. Sanctification is to make holy. Amen. Amen. This is a process. In theology the whole package is called soteriology. Katika theolojia inaitwa hiyo soteriology. It's the doctrine of salvation. Ni kanuni za wokovu. Which brings all these issues to light. Ambazo zinaleta mambo haya yote katika mwanga. I'm being sanctified. Mimi ninatakaswa. Amen. Amina. When Sometimes we talk about people in church. Wakati mwingine tunazungumzia watu walio kanisani. Kuna vilana kani kama yeye ndio mtakatifu. All of us are being sanctified. Sote tunatakaswa. Eh? Mhm. Uh -huh. We are all being sanctified. Sote tunatakaswa. Labda sasa mdomo yako haijafikiwa kutakaswa. Mhm. Uh -huh. Okay, tell your neighbor kwa karibu kufikiwa. Karibu nafikiwa. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 12. Waibrania 13 mstari wa 12. Are you aware it is also possible to attain this level. Je, mnajua ya kwamba inawezekana ufikie kiwango hiki? Therefore, kwa hiyo, Jesus also, Yesu pia, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood. Are you seeing that? Aweze kuwatakasa watu kwa damu yake mwenyewe. Tell your neighbor neighbor. Mwambie jirani. Tell your neighbor neighbor. Mwambie jirani. You are being sanctified. Wewe unatakaswa by his blood. Kwa damu yake mwenyewe. Unatakaswa. Mhm. Amen. Amen. Bado ninatakaswa mtu wa Mungu. Mhm. Unaona huyu mtu ana maasira. Kama si asira angekuwa mbali, ah ah, bado anatakaswa. Mina. Ako na bad manners mbaya. Ndini sawa, hiyo bad manners mbaya inaenda iki takaswa. As long as anaendelea kufanywa nini? Mradi bado anatakaswa. How do you clean a pool that is well, dirty? utaoshaje kidimbu ambacho ni kichafu unaweka tu maji safi the more clean water goes in unapoweka maji the more the pool becomes cleaner hivyo kidimbu kinaendelea kuwa safi zaidi when you go to hospital ukienda hospitali when you are sick ukiwa mgonjwa what does the doctor do huwa daktari anafanya nini they treat you isn't it wanakutibu sio they can inject something into your body wanaweza kudunga kitu kwenye mwili wako and whatever they give you to swallow na as a dose wanakupatia umeze kama dozi as long as you swallow it mradi tu umeimeza or you allow them to give you the jab ama unawaruhusu wakudunge sindano after some time baada ya muda fulani what was not good in your body kile ambacho hakikuwa sawa katika mwili wako exits kinaondoka because there is something that eliminates it kwa sababu kuna kitu kinachokiondoa when it comes to cleansing ikija katika kutakaswa and sanctification na kufanywa upya the blood cleanses and sanctifies damu inasafisha na kutakasa so when you sit with yourself kwa hiyo ukiketi na nafsi yako looking very guilty ukiajiona kwamba unajihukumu it means the holy spirit is convicting you inamaanisha kwamba roho mtakatifu anazungumza nawe but now bleed the blood for sanctification sasa omba damu ili uweze kutakaswa amen amina amen amina lakini sasa sanctification haimaanishi usilipe deni ya wenyewe Hey, tuelewane watu wa Mungu. Mm Hiyo -hmm. utapelekwa kotini na utahukumiwa. Mm -hmm. Ama? Mm -hmm. hey. <laughs> Sanctification na imanishi usilipe deni ya wenyewe. Lipa deni. Mm -hmm. Sanctification na imanishi usiombe msamaha. Ulikosea mtu, omba msamaha. Mm -hmm. Why speak in tongues and you can't apologize in Kiswahili? Kwa nini unene kwa ndimi na uwezi kuomba msamaha katika Kiswahili? Where you need to apologize say I am. Mahali unahitaji kuomba msamaha omba msamaha. Ndipo washaiomba msamaha. Ikakutoka. What did you feel? Nisi vizuri. Vizuri si ndio? That was sanctification. Huko kulikuwa kutakaswa. Ulisikia wanasema nimesikia ni kama kuna kitu imeni. Toka. 
tell your neighbor neighbor mwambie jirani leo hii leo hii wacha kitu ikutoke wacha kitu ikutoke eh, unasikia umekuwa mwepesi kidogo si ndio mm-hmm, naam ama naam tell your neighbor neighbor mwambie jirani wacha kiburi toke tu toke tu toke wacha uh, arrogance itoke tu kidogo wacha. tu you tell your neighbor you are being sanctified mwambie jirani unatakaswa amen amina put your hand on your head and say this head this head is sanctified is sanctified to think things to think things that are aligned that are aligned with the word of god with the word of god amen 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 are you aware the bible says to the pure je unajua biblia nasema kwa wale walio safi all things are pure vitu vyote vinakuwa safi check titus 1 verse 15 ngalia tito 1:15 but them that are defiled lakini wale ambao wamechafuliwa to the pure all things are pure walio safi kila kitu ni safi but those who are lakini wale ambao wamechafuliwa and then believing na hawaamini nothing is pure hakuna kilicho safi so kuna mtu unamwambia by the way this is what i'm trusting god for unamwambia mtu hii ndio ninayomwaminia mungu because of a defiled thinking wanakuambia wewe hakuna mali unaenda kwa sababu ya kuchafuliwa anakuambia wewe huendi kokote but even their mind this is every time i read this scripture is a very regret that even their mind ya and conscience is hata fikra zao na akili zao zimejinajisi ya akili ama ni dhamira conscience ni akili ama dhamira yani dhamira yake ni chafu mm-hmm. mtoto wako amekuambia yeye anataka kuolewa amekuja tu akawaambia mimi mami mimi kuna mtu kwa maisha yangu sasa wewe unaanza kukumbuka vile wewe ule wanaswe <laughs> sana you know what kicks in immediately mm-hmm. tabia mbaya wacha tabia mbaya by the how did i end up here wacha tubaki hapa kwa conscience baki kwa conscience kwa conscience hapo katika dhamira number 5 ya tano the blood damu gives life inaleta uhai the blood gives life damu inaleta uzima john chapter 6 verse 53 yohana 6:53 damu ya yesu iliyomwagika inaweza mambo yote 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 then Jesus said to them basi Yesu akawaambia most assuredly i say to you amen amen nawaambieni unless msipo you eat the flesh kula mwili wake of the son of man mwana wa adamu and drink his blood na kuinywa damu yake what's the next line inasema nini what's the next line inasema nini you have no life in you hamna uzima ndani yenu i know there are doctrinal biases najua kuna kanuni ambazo pengine si nzuri sana hazifai sana about the holy communion ah uh, kuna kuna kanuni ambazo hazieleweki sana kuhusu meza ya bwana zinatofautiana mm-hmm. because there are those who think kwa sababu kuna wanaofikiria na kuamini that children ya kwamba watoto should receive the holy communion hawa wanafaa kupokea meza ya bwana when they are at the age of 12 and above wakiwa na miaka 12 na zaidi what about demons Jema pepo do they have an age bracket that they should wana umri ambao hawafai kuathiri they should not allow be, be allowed to get into the children afai kuruhusiwa kuingia ndani ya watoto when it comes to receiving life ikija katika kupokea uzima humanity is a candidate ubinadamu 
our children are candidates of receiving life. Ni wale wakupokea uzima. You as an individual, Wewe kama mtu binafsi, you are a beneficiary of the Lord's table. Wewe umefaidika kwa ajili ya meza when ya you buwana, don't receive the Lord's table, usipopokea meza ya buwana, as a Christian, you are doing a lot of disservice to your life. Kama mkristo unafanya mambo ya siofa In katika fact, maisha yako kwa hakika, if it were possible, ikingeweze kana, we, sh- we should be having Holy Communion every Sunday we meet. Tunastahili kwa kula meza ya buwana kila jumapili tunapokutana. If it were possible, ingewezekana. Only that I allowed it to be the first Sunday of every month. Ni kwamba niliruhusu tu iwe Jumapili ya kwanza ya kila mwezi. In other places, mahali kwingine, they only do it in April. Wa wanafanya tu April peke yake. Ni Pasaka. Eh. That's when they do it. Hapo tu ndipo wanaifanya. And that is why many are weak. Na ndio maana wengi wana udhaifu. Many are sick. Wengi ni wagonjwa. Even many some die. Na hata wengine wanakufa. When I understood the mystery of the Holy Communion. Wakati nilielewa yaliyofichika katika meza ya Bwana. I, I, I knew this is life. Nilijua huu ni uzima. There are several components that guarantee the victory of a believer. Kuna vitu ambavyo vinahakikisha ushindi wa mwamini. The anointing. Upako. That one I know. Hiyo ninajua. The blood. Damu. The Holy Communion. Na meza ya Bwana the power and the mystery of an offering or a sacrifice that one I... some of these things have been abused because lack of understanding have been the issue so the abuse of it does not eliminate the principle from functioning because if you go to alternative faiths they will train their children on certain doctrines when they are very young and they will indoctrinate their children systematically systematically to the point that doctrine alone eliminate their tribal differences eliminate their racial differences when they meet together like this as long as they subscribe to that doctrinal foundation they are more than brothers their level of bonding is inseparable because because of the indoctrination. When they become teenagers, they cannot move away from this particular foundation. Peer pressure to them is an issue. Kule kusukumwa kwa wanarika si jambo controlled kwa, by the statutes of that doctrine kwa sababu wao wanaongozwa na mafunzo ya waliopata but what are we teaching our children lakini sisi tunawafunza watoto wetu nini father abraham had many sons had many sons so father abraham i am one of them and so are you so let us praise the lord right and left and father Abra. that's what we are teaching our children do you know they cannot compete with those children unajua hawezi kushindana na watoto hao amina i wish because we are online ningefungua server kidogo our level of ignorance stems from not understanding the value of the faith that we have subscribed to. When we don't know the finished work of the cross and its purpose, we live as victims. These biases are so discriminative Mm-hmm. to the point a christian can apply for a loan zinatutenganisha kufikia mkristo anaweza kuomba loan and they will pay heavily na talipa kwa kugaramika sana but an alternative faith can go and apply for the same loan lakini mtu wa imani tofauti anaweza kuomba mkopo huo and they will pay less na watalipa chini because it is compliant in a certain law kwa sababu imewekwa katika sheria fulani is it making sense inaleta maana at some point 
fulani, put a Christian mkristo, who will argue ambaye atapingana logically uh, bizuri, intellectually uh-huh, kiakili, qualifi- qualified with serious papers amehitimu na karatasi nzuri and then another one will come wearing a certain kisha mwingine atakuja amevalia kitu kwenye kichwa where will the advantage go huyo mwingine atapendelewa this one will be left speaking in tongues huyo ataachwa akinena kwa ndimi that one will only get a qualification with them huyo hataitimu tu kwa sababu ya kile kitambaa alichojifunga some of these things are foundational if you mambo haya mengine ni ya kimsingi that is why hiyo ndio maana if unless you eat the flesh msipo kula msipo kula nyama ya mwana wa adamu and drink his blood na kuinywa damu yake hamna no uzima ndani yenu the thief comes to steal kill and to destroy mwizi huja kuiba kuangamiza na kuharibu na kuangamiza lakini nimekuja ili muwe na uzima and have it in abundance na muwe nao kwa utele john 10:10 Yohana how kumi, comes how comes we really struggle to have this life in abundance kwa nini tunangangana kuwa na uzima huu kwa utele it's because of a lack of understanding ni kwa sababu kukosa kuelewa are we together tuko pamoja are we together tuko pamoja number 6 we are almost sita, done sita karibu tunamaliza intercession ah kuweza kuomba the blood speaks damu hunena the blood speaks damu hunena on our behalf kwa niaba yetu this blood speaks damu hii hunena that once we have prayed kwamba tukishaomba and there is a disadvantage na kuna kutopendelewa this blood speaks damu hii itanena at the end of this service today kufikia mwisho wa ibada hii leo i'm going to be making a prayer nitafanya maombi that this blood will speak on your behalf ya kwamba damu hii itanena kwa niaba mahali popote mlipo mahali ambapo utapendelewa the substitutionary element damu ndio itaweza kusimama are we together amina tell your neighbor neighbor mwambie jirani the blood speaks damu hunena genesis chapter 4 verse 8 to 10 mwanzo 4 8 hadi 10 and hebrews 11 4 na waibrania 11 we need to do a very quick comparison here tutalinganisha kwa haraka sana Genesis 4 mwanzo mlango wa 4 Now Cain talked with his uh, with Abel Cain akazungumza na Abel his brother kaka yake And it came to pass ikawa ikatimia when they were in the field walipokuwa uwanjani that Cain rose up against Abel Cain akamuinukia Abel ndugu yake his brother and killed him akamuua 9 tisa Then the Lord said Bwana akamwambia Cain Where is Abel your brother? Yuko wapi Habili ndugu yako? He said I do not know. Akasema sijui. Am I my brother's keeper? Mimi ni mlinzi wa ndugu yangu. Then. Kumi. And he said. Akasema what have you done? Umefanya nini? The voice of your brother's blood. Sauti ya damu ya ndugu yako. Are you seeing that blood speaks? Unaona damu hunena? Are you seeing blood speaking? Unaona damu inanena? The voice of your brother's blood. Sauti ya damu ya kaka yako. It's crying out to me from the ground. Inanililia kutoka katika ardhi. From the Where is it crying from? Inalia kutoka wapi? Kutoka katika ardhi. The blood cries damu hulia inanena Hebrews chapter 11 verse 4 Waibrania 11 mstari wa 4 By faith kwa imani Abel offered to God Habili alimtolea Mungu a more excellent sacrifice than Cain Dhabihu iliyobora kuliko Kaini through which he obtained kwa hiyo aliweza kushuhudiwa witness that he was righteous aliweza kushuhudiwa kuwa ana haki God testifying of his gifts Mungu akazishuhudia sadaka zake Look at the next line Angalia inayofuata And through it na kwa hiyo being dead ijapo kuwa amekufa still speaks Angali akinena The blood of Abel damu ya habili was spilled against his will Ilimwagwa kinyume na kutaka kwake It was spilled on earth 
And it was for vengeance. But the blood of Jesus, Lakini, damu ya Yesu, Jesus gave himself willingly that he even obeyed the death of the cross. Ya kwamba alitiki kifo cha msalabani. That's Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 all the way to verse number 11. Yoni wa Filipi mlango wa pili. The blood speaks from heaven. Damu inanena toka mbinguni. And the blood speaking is for forgiveness. Na damu inayonena ni kwa ajili ya msamaha. Tell your neighbor neighbor. Mwambie jirani jirani. The blood is making intercession. Damu inaomba kwa niaba yetu. For your life. Kwa ajili ya maisha yako. The blood is making intercession. Mwambie damu inafanya maombi. For your life. Kwa ajili ya uzima wako. That is why when we are praying, let us learn to plead the blood. I plead the blood over my children. I plead the blood over my business. I plead the blood over my health. I plead the blood over my family. I plead the blood over my work. I plead the blood. When you don't know how to appropriate the blood, then you'll talk about generational curses perennially. Utazungumzia laana za vizazi miaka nenda miaka rudi. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. Lift up your hand and say the blood speaks. The blood speaks. On my behalf. Kwa niaba yangu. On behalf of my family. Kwa niaba ya familia yangu. On behalf of my children. Kwa niaba ya watoto wangu. On behalf of everything that concerns me. Kwa niaba ya kila kitu kinacho usiana nami. The blood speaks. Damu inanena. That blood speaks. Damu hiyo inanena. Even now it is speaking. Amen. That blood is speaking. Do you know why life is in blood? Are you aware of life is in blood? Because it is a living entity. And it speaks. So now we are on the blood of Jesus. Kwa hiyo tuko katika damu ya Yesu. He must in the blood. Tumezamishwa katika damu. That is why you cannot accuse me. Hiyo ndio maana huwezi kunihukumu. No one can accuse you. Hakuna anayeweza kukulaumu. Because the blood speaks. Kwa sababu damu inanena. Are you aware that when the enemy comes in like a flood? Je, unajua adui anapokuja kama gharika? The Holy Spirit raises a standard. Roho wa Mungu huinua kiwango. And the purpose of blood. Na kazi ya damu is to create a pass over. When the angel of death is looking for whom to devour. Wakati malaika wakifu anatafuta wakumaliza. Because you the blood in the morning. Kwa sababu uliomba damu asubuhi. The enemy has to move away. Ye anapita tu. Finally. Mwisho. The blood grants us access. Damu inatupatia njia ya kupita. It gives us access. Inatupatia njia ya kutufikisha. Hebrews 10. Waibrania kumi, kumi na tisa. You split the sea so I could walk right through it. My fears are drowned in perfect love. You rescued me so I could stand and see. I am a child. Says, therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Are you seeing that? Are you seeing that? I, I know there could be some human challenges that we could be having now. But it is not superior to the blood of Jesus. We cannot elevate our human failures to dilute the importance and the value of the blood of Jesus. So when you come to God, when you come to church, when, we time, when it's time to raise up your hands, raise up your hands knowing that you are justified. When it comes to praying, pray like you are justified. When it comes to lifting and singing, lift up your voice to God because you are being granted access to enter the holiest of holies by the medium of the blood. Look at verse 20. 
mstari wa 20 by a new and living way anjia ile iliyotufunza iliyompya which he consecrated for us aliyotufunzia through the veil kupitia uhai that is kupitia pazia yani mwili wake 21 moja and having a high priest na kuwa na kuhani mkuu over the house of god juu ya nyumba ya mungu lastly 22 mbili and it says let us draw near tukaribie with a true heart kuwa wenye moyo wa kweli he access ni nini huku kupata njia ya kufika ni gani you with a true heart wewe unafikia kwa moyo wa kweli with full assurance of faith kwa utimilifu wa imani having our hearts sprinkled from an uh, from an evil conscience hali tumenyunyiziwa mioyo tuache dhamira mbaya and our bodies washed with pure water tumeoshwa mili kwa maji safi i know there are those who could be in the house today najua kuna wale ambao wako ndani ya nyumba hii leo kulilala na bwana ya mtu mhm umelala na kijana you are feeling dirty you are feeling wewe ni mchafu unahisi wewe ni muovu but the blood lakini damu cleanses inatutakasa our conscience inasafisha dhamira yetu all i want you to do yale ninayotaka ufanye is to go before god ni kwenda mbele zake mungu ukiwa na moyo wa ukweli because the things that god does not despise kwa sababu yale ambayo mungu hadharau is a broken ni moyo ambao umevunjika na moyo ulio unaojua are we together amina are we together amina i want to make a prayer nataka nifanye maombi i want us to stand nataka tusimame and lift up your voice to god na uinue sauti yako kwa mungu i give you a minute nakupa dakika moja please the blood over your life wewe omba damu juu ya maisha yako please the blood over your body omba damu juu ya mwili wako please the blood over your thinking omba damu juu ya fikra zako please the blood over your health omba damu juu ya over your children please the blood over your destiny juu ya hatima yako i'm giving you a minute of so lift up your hands to heaven tell the lord i plead the blood i plead the blood over my life my destiny lord you have given me access let the blood speak on behalf of my children let the blood speak on behalf of my children let the blood speak on your on behalf of my destiny let that blood speak on your behalf are you praying somebody let that blood speak on behalf of your life oh god let this blood speak oh god i know i am not a failure i know my children are not failures i know my destiny is under the blood the blood the blood the blood let the blood speak sir. justification by faith sanctification a cleansing let the blood speak the blood of jesus hey na sala baradia ala bahaya des kanaba the blood the blood the blood i plead the blood over my children over this church of every member of this church i plead the blood i plead the blood i plead the blood i plead the blood let the blood speak the blood the blood the blood the blood of jesus christ that was shed in calvary the blood that breaks the yoke the blood that breaks the chains the blood that breaks the curses so ben ase tane mahaya nama the blood the blood over my family Lift up those hands as high as they can go. Say I plead the blood. I plead, I plead the blood over my life. Over my children. Over my family. Over everything about me and my future. I plead the blood over my body. I plead the blood over my business. Over my career. Over the entire family I come from I plead the blood Let the blood speak 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 Every curse of poverty be broken Every curse of poverty be broken by the blood He became a curse that we may walk in blood 
say, I am a child of God. I am no longer a slave to fear. I am no longer a slave of poverty. I am no longer a slave of sickness. I am no longer a slave of fear. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am a child. From today, may you walk victorious. May the blood speak on your behalf. May the blood defend you. May you never walk like a victim. Let the blood of God speak on your behalf. Let the blood speak on your behalf. Let the blood defend you. Let that blood cover you. Let that blood cover your family. the light of the revelation of that word. Walk in the revelation of, the of that word. I am a child of God. I am justified. I am sanctified. I am cleansed. I have life. The blood speak on my behalf. The blood is interceding on my behalf. And from today, my life will never, ever be the same. Neighbor, neighbor, I told you I have access. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, all my doors are now open because the blood goes before me. Let that blood speak. Amen. Please be seated. We want to give our offering. Let us give our offerings like the redeemed ones that God has delivered you redeemed you from the curse of poverty and given you life and life in abundance 432254 is our number God bless you as you give Mungu wabariki mnapotoa
Let the blood speak on behalf of their finances. Where there is any delay, let there be acceleration because of the blood. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Tomorrow night, we will be bleeding the blood over several issues. Let's meet tomorrow night 5 to 6 p.m. If you are available at 9 a.m. Come, let's wash the church. And God will bless you. Receive greetings from my wife. You will, be, you will be seeing her very soon. And she will not be going. <laughs> Amen. 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 If you woke up today and discovered that you are still a man, this Friday, 5.30, fireplace, Amen. 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 Ladies, you have a brief uh, sitting with the chair lady. To my left, the ladies will meet here and the mashuja will be meeting on the wangu kushoto, mtakutana, kisha mashuja, mtakutana upande wakulia. Tomorrow we take a break from fasting. Kesho tunamaliza uh, kufunga. Tunamaliza kweli? Tunaweka tuna, tuna, tuna break. Wengine wataendelea mpaka mwisho wa mwezi. And I'm not saying anything. Na. <laughs> so, uh, I know it was not in vain. Najua haikuwa bure. Expect the unbelievable. Tarajia yasioaminika. Amen. Amina. Let that be the lifestyle of every believer here. Wacha hayo ndio yawe maisha ya kila mtu hapa. Let's all be upstanding. We share the grace. Are you here for the first time? I, I want to receive you uh, officially. Please pick your luggage. Please pick your luggage and come to the front. The young people. 
We started a discussion last Sunday. It was serious. Leo tunagurumisha bado. Young people for the entire month will be discussing real matters on relationships. Let's meet at 3. wote tutakuwa tunajadili mahusiano tukutane. 3 p.m. Saa 3 p.m. Wageni wetu wako wapi? Hebu lift up your hand if you are our guest, special guest. Wewe ni mgeni ni mara yako ya kwanza. Inua tumkono wako. Carry your stuff and come. I'll not ask you to say anything with them. Beba tumzigo wako uje nao hapa mbele. And those who got born again, please come with them. Na wale ambao mliokoka pia, tunaomba mje pamoja nao. Hey baba, hey baba, hey baba, porque hace ma. Hey Baba, hey Baba, Baba, poke ya sifa. Hey Baba, hey Baba, hey Baba, poke ya sifa. Hey we Baba, poke ya sifa, 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 poke ya sifa. Wano liyokoka kwa mi na wana tu moja. Wale ambao waliokoka tafadhali. Eternal Father, we thank you. Let the blood speak on behalf of this dear ones. Let their lives never go back to the same mold. Let the favor of God accompany them. Cause them to flourish in all they do. In Jesus' name. Please follow faith. Fatini faith. Now look at your neighbor with very serious eye. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. I told you. I told you. By the end of this year. By the end of this year. Your life. Your life. Will not look like January. Your life will not look like last year. Your life will, not look your like life last will be year. different. Your life will be different. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. neighbor. By the end of this year, by the end of this year, I am expecting. I am expecting a Christmas gift from you. A Christmas gift from you. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, neighbor. neighbor. By the end of this year, by the end of this I am expecting. I am expecting a Christmas gift from you. Because I know. God is lifting you. God is changing your story. God is changing your Amen. story. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit with us now and forevermore. Amen. Let's meet tomorrow. Ladies, please, on my left. Akina dada tafadhali upande wa kushoto, mashuja upande wa kulia. Sima baba.